Hey everybody at home, my name is George Sully. Welcome to Murdered Out 6. Uh, this is the sixth edition of this T100 2018 Triumph build. What we're gonna do is basically start from the front end of the bike and work our way to the back end and everything in between. Let's start from the front. The reason why the bike is called Golden Eye, um, the front of the bike and the front end headlight, I tinted. Um, I'll definitely post a link um, in the corner somewhere to show you uh, the process of how I tinted it um, but we start there and then from the headlight one of my favorite little accents is the Moto Gadget M Blaze turn signal so basically it's very small but it's very high impact the LED is very very bright obviously the lights that came with it um, I'll probably throw some pictures in to show you the difference. Uh, it cleans the profile of the bike really well. Next up, we have the very subtle again, Motone mirror delete plugs. Very subtle, but makes the difference, especially when you remove uh, the mirrors and leaves a big hole. These things fill them in and uh, they're black on black, so a very subtle cleanup. Next up is the Motone Jota bars, very adjustable all the way around. So you could bring them down, you could bring them mid, high, any ride you're looking for, you can get out of these bars. Next up is the braking clutch levers. Um, they're adjustable, which are fantastic. Two finger, three finger, four finger, depending on what you want. And at the same time, the pressure of the clutch and the brake, very adjustable. I got them on Amazon. I put up a link before, but the link is dead. So I'm gonna try to find another link for you guys to try to find these. Again, very subtle detail, but it changed the profile of the bike. Next up, the custom speedo bezel. This is something that not everybody does. Um, it's hard to do and or to get it done right. A friends of mine at uh, Red Tower Armory, um, they were up to the task and they coded certain components of the bike, uh, including uh, the bezel, um, which made all the difference and really customized the bike. Next up, the bar end mirrors. Um, another thing that I was able to pick up online, uh, something that, you know, really brought life to the bike. I'm just a fan of the old classic cafe racer. So the bar end mirrors were not only a, a great look for the bike, but at the same time, I do use them. So those are really good look. Next up, uh, this is from Motone, and this is what they call a shorty mudguard. It's just like a smaller, low profile look. Uh, the original mudguard, um, it, 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 it had a vintage look, but it's not the vintage look I was actually looking for. So I was looking for more sporty, but still cafe. Uh, so I found that middle ground. And so the shorty mudguard was perfect. Next up is basically um, a really great piece and I love this piece. It's very subtle. Again, it's tucked away, but when you look at it and you find it, it's just a beautiful thing to look at. And that's the Motone radiator guard. Every angle of the bike, when you photograph it, it's in there and it's subtle and uh, people enjoy looking at it. The next thing is the Motone sump guard, which is really, really, really cool. Um, it looks good, but also protects your bike. So what can be better than that? Next up is the Motone custom fuel gas cap. I just love its look. I love its subtlety and I'm going to be using that word a lot subtle so uh, this gas cap does it for me uh, in that way next up is the badging the original badging was chrome basically uh, I brought the badging to Red Tower Armory and uh, he was able to Cerakote coat uh, the series as you see here uh, fantastic look fantastic finish and really make the bike stand out even though it's black on black Next up is the clutch badge, which is another Motone piece. Um, customized with the Union Jack. Uh, I love this piece. And again, uh, Motone did a great job. Another piece brought to Red Tower Armory to get uh, some Cerakote is the intake covers. Once again, these intake covers uh, were brushed steel kind of a look. And uh, if you're gonna black out your bike, this is one component that really stood out when it wasn't black. So that was, uh, it was time for it to go and time for it to get done. And I was really happy with that. Next up on the bike is the side covers. Originally it was decaled, but then to get the look of the bike, uh, the decals had to come off. So you have to sand the decals off and just do a whole process. So it wasn't as easy as peeling as much as sanding and then repainting. Next up is the exhaust tips. And you can't find these exhaust tips for the T100. Actually, these exhaust tips are from British Customs. And British Customs, uh, they have them for the T120 and so on and so forth. So because I'm me, I decided to go and purchase them and to see how hard it was to get these things on here. And actually, to be honest, they actually slipped right on. I cannot be the person to tell you to get these because they're not listed for the bike, but hey, I put them on my bike and 
So basically I'm the only T100 in the world that has these tips and that has this look of this bike uh, until this video gets dropped of course and then you know, all hell's gonna break loose. There's gonna be a lot of people calling British Customs and asking them, well, George did it, how come I can't do it? And they'll probably call me an idiot, but whatever. I'll take it. I'll take the hit. Next up is another subtle thing, but very important thing, your Motone helmet lock. And it's for the right side. Uh, there's two sides that you can get. You can get the left side or right side. Um, I decided to go for the right side. Great component piece for your helmet. Next up, again, Moto Gadget, M Blaze, pin lighting. Uh, these turn signals are the best thing. The subtlety of it is everything. Um, these actually work better. They're more visible actually, believe it or not, because the LED is very strong and powerful. So with those, uh, you can't beat them. Now, this is also for Motone, which I love because this basically set up my Moto Gadget pin lights. These are the Motone Tri-Line turn signal brackets. You know, what else can I say? It's another great Motone piece. It just holds that um, pin lighting turn signal beautifully right off the shock mount and uh, we're good to go. At the bottom you have another Motone really specialty here and uh, it's the shock mount dressings. It's something that's very subtle but it brings a beauty to the bike. Next up is the seat. It's a quilted seat. Um, Pretty comfortable, pretty decent, but I wanted definitely that cafe racer look. And the original seat, um, I think it broke the shape. Um, putting this seat uh, onto the bike, again, opened it up and really gave it that cafe racer aggressive look that I wanted. And uh, I definitely found it in this particular seat. Next up are my shocks. And my shocks are from Tech Bike Parts. I've had no problems with these shocks so far, and they're adjustable as well. I had them on my Street Twin and then was able to transfer them on uh, to my T100 with no problems at all. I uh, just gave a phone call. They told me exactly what to do, if anything. And uh, there you have it. Next up is the Motone Tail Tidy. This is probably the most satisfying thing to do uh, when you're doing any customization to your bike is the Tail Tidy. The Tail Tidy really opens up the bike and opens up its silhouette. Um, and removing it, it's like, it's, I don't know what feeling I can compare it to, but to really see the open area of the bike for the first time and be able to run your hands through it without being hit by a fender or googly-eyed turn signals, it's uh, its a beautiful thing. Also, my license plate is basically on the other side of the bike and uh, I used a shock mount uh, license plate set up there. But the tail tidy from Motone, um, you can't really beat it and it finished off the bike really, 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 really well. And finally, the Motone Tanto Chain Guard. Um, very aggressive look. I wanted to look like it sounds, sounds like it looks right. And basically this gives me that. So there you have it. Uh, there's your full walk around of the Golden Eye 2 uh, T100 2018 Triumph. My first bike actually is the Golden Eye 1, which was the Street Twin. And uh, there's plenty of videos on the Street Twin. Uh, this is video number six for the T100. And uh, looking forward to giving you guys some more videos and uh, stay tuned. Talk to you later. Get my bike and get out of here.